Beyond the appeal of working with Gary Marshall. Yes. Or was that the entire appeal? The, the, the was only reason to do the movie was to be able to work with Gary Marshall. Really, seriously. He is a genius of comedy. He respects comedy and he understands it. And he, has, he understands it for so many people. That's why he's been in the game for so long. Right. As a comedian, what makes for a successful romantic comedy? Well, I think... You have to take a real life issue or real life um, things that's happening and show it in a way to make it look really crazy and silly. And then you add some A-list uh, celebrities that can actually work it off. And then once you do that, you have this great movie and it, you just name it Mother's Day. <laughs> He's got a knack for these sort of anthology holiday films, right? Well, you know what? People love Gary Marshall, so they're like, okay, we'll work. It's for Gary. You can't say no to Gary. I didn't. I knew of him, but I was just honored. I, You know, I was like, he has this part. He saw you. He thinks you'll be great for it. I'm like, really? He thinks I'm funny? I mean, as a stand-up, you just you relish in the fact that this is a man that's been creating things that I grew up on, and they think that I'm funny, you're like, okay, now I'm getting somewhere in my career. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously this is an ensemble cast, and yes. there are a lot of funny people. You get to work with Jason, who's yes. very funny. Um, is that all on the page, or do you have a little freedom to bring your own sensibility? Well, the thing about Gary Marshall and Jason, this is he allows you to improvise. So we would do the, the line straight, and then we would improvise. And then Jason's sitting there going, say it this way, say it that way, or maybe try it this way. And so... I don't know what was left. I, I can't I think it's like fifty percent was that was left in the movie was written and fifty percent was improvised because that's the way Gary works and but it brings life to the movie. If you could do it better, he's not, you know, going crazy like, no, you gotta say it the way it's written. No, this sounds even funnier. And that's how you make a great comedy. You don't blow another man's whistle, was that on the page? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Never was that ever written on the page. That came to last minute. <laughs> From you? That came, who did that? No, um, Mark wrote that, one of the writers. He came and he said, why don't we try it this way? I'm like, are you sure you want to say this? And I didn't think it would, but it's funny. It was so funny and so out the way, you know, that we kept it. Right. It is. It's a good scene. Um, what was the biggest thrill about... Uh, another actor that you worked with or the, the biggest excitement that you got? Because there are, as you say, some impressive names on that list. There's really impressive names. Um, the biggest thrill for me came after, at the premiere. Um, I was sitting next to Jennifer Aniston and, and Julia Roberts was sitting right below me to my left. I'll never forget it. And I was just like, oh my goodness, all those years of being on the road in comedy and to have this movie, and now I'm in a movie, and I'm at the premiere, and she, you know Jennifer's right, uh, Julie was right here, Jennifer was right here, and Julie was down here. It's like, it was worth staying in the comfort in. It was so worth it. <laughs> As you probably know, for guys who have a certain resistance to romantic comedies, because there's too much romance and not enough comedy, mm -hmm. is that the, the, the problem a well, lot of the time? Guys <laughs> just, you know, I don't know why, y'all like these comedies. You do. You know, if you want to get with a girl, take her to see a romantic comedy. We make romantic comedies so that you guys can get girls. That's why we do it. Other than that, you know, nobody wants to see, yes, we would like the superhero movies and things like that, but it, it makes us feel good when you, when you see, you, you know, you take a girl to see that romantic comedy. She's sitting there, she's like, yeah, that's what I want. And you look at the guy, you're like, come on, let's, let's go. Now. It's a public service, is it? Yes. We are doing something for the community by doing a romantic comedy. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>